it. Um, if you want, you can download this file um, on my Hightail page, uh, 3D Printing and Dentistry. I'll include the link um, and some useful files as well. So here we have on the screen um, an upper and a lower. Um, these were imported out of Syriac Ortho. Now you may be wondering, well, the bite looks off. Um, well, what we did was we placed a leaf gauge, and of course I'll post this on Digital Enamel and show you pictures, but we used a leaf gauge um, to get the patient um, into CR um, and sort of open at a comfortable amount. Now, um, check this out. This patient is super duper class two, um, so this is not an error. She actually has that big of a bite. So we're going to make this patient a night guard. Now, I went ahead and duplicated a number of my models. We're going to be using them um, for something, a fancy word, a Boolean operation. Um, kind of rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Um, so you'll see a bunch of files over here in something called the object browser that we're going to turn off and on. Um, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and turn off my top model here and turn off my occlusion for now and turn on a model um, that I called Night Guard and we're going to use this. So uh, what we want to do first is kind of line this up um, and we're going to go ahead and make something that's eventually going to be our Night Guard. We're going to go and hit the Select tool and we're just going to single click and you want to make the Night Guard initially pretty fat. We're going to cut it back later on. So just make one line here, one line here we're going to come down here, come down here, and double click. This is going to select the teeth that we want to be included in our night guard. Uh, we're going to be using a function called separate. Um, so just hit separate. And we're going to click the part we don't want and hit X. So now we have a little shell, and this is going to be kind of um, cut um, further. Um, the next step here, um, we're going to hit Control A that selects everything. I'm sorry. Uh, Control A it selects everything. We're going to be using a function we use a lot in Mesh Mixer called extrude. So we'll come over to extrude. Usually we extrude out a base. So if you look at this model, it's a shell. Um, and actually in Syrac, there's a function called add or remove a base where you can take that away and see the shell. So we're going to go ahead and change the direction of the extrusion. So we're going to pop this out to normal. Now what's a normal? A normal is the center of a triangle which is what all these things are made out of. We're going to start with our night guard being two millimeters thick. Obviously that's pretty pretty thick but uh, we're going to whittle it down later on. So just hit two and enter. Now you're going to notice this thing is going to puff up really big uh, and look kind of funky. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and hit accept. Now, this is the, the most important part of this entire thing. Um, when you extrude off a normal, in essence, you're doing a top side and a bottom side. So after this operation, you'll see a bunch of stuff that's tan and a bunch of stuff that's orange. Just like in Syrac, whatever is orange is selected. We're going to delete that. We only want one shell. We're going to make this thing solid um, later on and use it to cut stuff. Um, so we don't want to trap anything inside. So very important step, hit X and let's delete all that junk out. Okay, so now we have a sort of pseudo shell. Um, we've got some stuff still caught in it. Don't worry about that for now. We're going to go to edit um, and we're going to come over to make solid. Now we're going to be using make solid a lot. We're going to be using things called booleans and we're going to cut stuff out of stuff. And so if things have junk inside of them, um, it doesn't work so well. So the make solid command is going to try to fill in this entire model and make it a solid model. And sometimes it does take a little bit of time. Um, one thing to remember about Booleans is Booleans don't like to cut away the same thing. So the name of the game is to make this as different as you can from the original teeth. So you'll see here this is sort of a messy looking model. Don't worry about it for now. Um, doesn't look like a night guard, does it? It looks kind of puffy. So the next step is we're going to come over to Sculpt. We're going to use the Robust Smooth brush and we're going to put the strength all the way up and the depth all the way up. And we're now just going to go around here and smooth this and make this sort of night guard-ish. Um, you can go ahead and turn on your upper model if you wish. Um, so we can go ahead and put the upper model back on so you can kind of see where things are and again 
We do want it long because we're going to be using a function later on, which is a cut tool, but we just want to make this really smooth. And again, the more different, the better, because Booleans don't like to cut the same thing. So just go around here. Um, keep in mind, even after we get this printed, and we're going to be printing this on a DLP printer called the Dental Fab by my buddy Jonathan Abenheim, and he is working right now to get me the print profile from a uh, ISO certified material um, called uh, Ortho Rigid. Okay. So this is pretty smooth and we can cut it even more later on if we wanted to and get it up off the pallet. All right, so let's go ahead and let's turn off our upper. Um, another thing to note too, on the lower, um, if we turn on our occlusion, we have this little shell. And you can see here that there is occlusion on this side and there's no occlusion on that side. So what we want to do is sort of bring down this a little bit more. Again, she is super class too, so this is going to look really thick in the anterior. Um, but we want to get um, occlusion on everything. And i got to tell you, I'm not an occlusion guy. Um, so uh, the man um, that does that is um, uh, Javier Vasquez. Javier um, has uh, a lab that converted this file, Dural uh, Dental Studios. Um, his wife, uh, Natalia, um, will convert these files for about 18 bucks. So let's go and let's play a little bit here. I think we want to use, um, where we go, inflate. Yeah, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add occlusion until we can see it coming through. And again, keep in mind in the anterior, we've got to add a lot to get something going on here. So as we look inside, we're just going to get it. So we get occlusion. It's okay to overdo it. We're going to use that Boolean operation, but we want occlusion on everything here. We can go ahead and turn off um, the lower now and just kind of clean that up just a little bit. And we can use our robust smooth again to clean that up. Don't get too crazy because we're going to be cutting this thing. Okay, so now we have this kind of weird thing. Um, we're going to use it now to do it. So we uh, made a separate model um, called Boolean, and it's just a copy of our original model. Now, the name of the game in Booleans is to make sure that we have good solid models. So we're going to go ahead and go to Edit, Make Solid. Now, you're going to see here that this model is going to look a little well effed up. Um, what we want to do is take solid accuracy all the way up and mesh density all the way up and let's bring back some of that anatomy. Hit update. It's going to still be a little messed up um, but for the purposes of a night guard it's not that big of a deal. Okay, hit accept. So it's always good to keep things kind of clean. So we can go to Night Guard. We're going to delete our original. Um, our lower model we want to keep. This Boolean we can go ahead and get rid of too. So now we should have Night Guard. And let's turn that on. And our upper solid model. Okay. One of the last steps before we actually uh, merge these together is now we're going to cut this and make this a little bit more uh, Night Guard height. So we're going to come over to Plane Cut. And see, this is cutting off the wrong part. Just click this little purple arrow. And we'll take a look at here and just sort of judge. Um, you know, we don't have an undercut feature on Mesh Mixer, so we want to go to about the height of contour um, on these teeth. So let's bring it up about to here. All right. We're going to hit Accept. And if we turn off this top model, we can see here that we've got it cut, but check this out. We've got a little weirdness going on here and here. So we'll use the make solid command one more time and accept that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and make our night guard. So um, we hit control, select our upper model, turn that on. And now we're going to select Boolean difference. This may take a little bit of time. Um, if it takes a very long time, there's a chance we screwed it up, so hopefully uh, it won't do this. Ah, here we go. So now we have our night guard. We're gonna go ahead and hit accept. 
And now we're going to get the occlusion on our night guard. We're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We have a model of our lower that I made solid before. Um, I don't think it's super critical that you make it solid, um, but whenever you're using Booleans, it's not a bad idea to do that. So here we have a night guard. Um, now it's time to get the occlusion. So previously I made a solid model of the lower. Um, and make it as fast as you can so we don't need super great detail. We're just going to punch occlusion into this. You can see here that there is nothing sticking up out of our night guard, so um, that's pretty good here. So now what you want to do is take um, the night guard and we're going to make it solid again. Um, sometimes when you do booleans, you trap stuff inside. Again, this does not look very accurate, so we're going to up the solid accuracy and we're going to up the mesh density as well and we're going to hit update good, and hit accept. Okay, so now what we have is um, our night guard. We're going to punch the occlusion into it, so we're going to control click solid occlusion and hit boolean difference. It takes a little bit of time um, to punch that in, but you should see it. Um, one thing is we're going to have tooth marks at the base. Um, you can try to smooth those out. What I have found, even with the smooth tool, um, deselecting the underside of the night guard, sometimes the anatomy gets a little um, messed up in the intaglio. So just leave it. So here we have our occlusion punched in. I'm just going to take an acrylic burr um, after this is printed and smooth everything out. So hit accept. And then we can just go ahead and export that out. I'm going to put it into uh, my DLP dental fab printer and print it with ortho resin and show everyone that later on. So uh, for those of you who don't know, just hit export STL and put night guard. All right, thanks for listening. And I hope to get more videos later on.